Over the past few days, two people have died from a bad batch of drugs. In our area, now Baldwin County has officially entered the fight to stop the opioid epidemic, a problem that kills tens of thousands of Americans a year. Last year alone, Baldwin County saw 26 opioid-related deaths. News 5's Ashley Knight tells you more about the Baldwin County lawsuit they hope makes a difference. The opioid crisis taking its toll in Baldwin County. Today, county officials announced they're taking action. Baldwin County Commissioner Chris Elliott and Sheriff Hoss Mack announced plans to file a lawsuit against opioid manufacturers and wholesale distributors in an effort to curb the obvious drug problem seen along the Gulf Coast. We're tracking on about a 56% increase in the use of heroin that we've detected in the county. Of course, most people that become addicted to an opioid when they can no longer get that original drug, they transition into heroin. Elliott says the main issue is the distributors and manufacturers are required by federal law to report suspicious shipments, which he believes they aren't doing. Or in some instances are even marketing uh, directly at those areas that are consuming large amounts of opioids. In addition to the lawsuit, the sheriff's office is stepping up. This year we will actually be assigning a narcotics officer that will be working nothing but prescription medication abuse as it translates into the use of illegal narcotics. Many in our area have been affected by this issue, including Christy Wells, who became an addict after having simple back surgery. And I went from taking three or four um, opiate pain relievers per day to at the end of my active addiction, I was taking 70. And at that point in my life, I began to turn from um, everything I'd ever known and been taught about decent living to prescription forgery and prosecution and I'm now a convicted felon. She agrees with the lawsuit but believes more needs to be done to help victims get help. In Baldwin County, you know, there's no there's no residential treatment for women at all. But we have to get together as a community and provide the resources so that people have a place to go without being ashamed of themselves because this is a chronic treatable illness. Commissioner Chris Elliott saying the lawsuit will be filed sometime this month. In Baldwin County, Ashley Knight, News 5. You may remember two weeks ago, we told you how the city of Mobile joined the fight against opioid abuse. The city has filed a public nuisance lawsuit against six manufacturers of prescription opioids and their related companies, as well as against the country's three largest wholesale drug distributors.